stuck on low FPS. Watch how I turn Valorant into butter smooth gameplay with potato settings. No risks, just results. Frustrated with lag and high pain? Gear Up Booster can fix it instantly. Check the download link in the description and get smooth lag free gameplay in seconds. Step 1. Valorant to Potato Graphics Super Low Settings to Boost FPS and Valorant using Potato Graphics Settings. Start by setting Display Mode to Full Screen for better performance. Lower your resolution slightly. For example, from 1920 by 1080 to 1600 by 900. And set the resolution scale to around 75% for a smooth boost without major visual loss. Under graphics quality, turn everything to low or off material, texture, detail, UI quality, vignette, V-Sync, bloom, clarity, shadows, ETC, set anti-aliasing to none and anisotropic filtering to 1x, turn off all FPS limits, and enable the FPS counter to monitor games. These settings can take your FPS from 50 to 60 to 100 plus easily. Show a before after comparison in your video for maximum impact. Keeping each setting explanation short. Step two, set Valorant to high priority in Task Manager to boost Valorant's performance without changing in-game settings. Start by launching the game and then open Task Manager by pressing CTRL plus Shift plus ESC. Once Task Manager is open, navigate to the Details tab and locate the process named valorant.exe. Right-click on it, select Set Priority, and choose High. If prompted by Windows, confirm the change. This simple tweak tells your system to allocate more resources to Valorant, reducing lag and stutter, especially if you're running. Other apps in the background. You may notice a smoother gameplay experience with a slight FPS improvement making it a quick and easy way to enhance your Valorant performance. Step 3. Using Razer Cortex to use Razer Cortex for better gaming performance. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. Start by opening the Cortex app and navigating to the Game Booster tab. If your game isn't listed, manually add it by selecting its executable file, so Cortex can prioritize. It. Next, enable Auto Boost or click the Boost Now button to free up system resources by clearing RAM and stopping unnecessary background processes. For optimal results, launch your game directly through Cortex to ensure all optimizations stay active. Additionally, use the System Clean tab to scan and remove junk files, and the Speed Up tab to disable unwanted startup programs, improving overall system speed and boot times. Before and after boosting, check your in-game FPS or system performance. To see the noticeable improvements in smoothness and responsiveness, this quick and easy process helps maximize your PC's gaming potential. Step 4. Valorant Profile in NVIDIA Inspector to apply potato graphics for Valorant using NVIDIA Inspector. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. Begin by launching the tool and clicking the wrench icon to open the driver profile settings. From the drop down at the top left, select the Valorant profile or add it manually if it's missing. Start by disabling all anti-aliasing options. Set anti-aliasing mode. Setting gamma correction and line gamma to off or application controlled. Set transparency, super sampling to a, a underscore mode underscore replay underscore all or simply off and disable FXAA and FAA. These changes remove all visual smoothing, giving a raw performance focused look. Next, move to texture filtering. Set anisotropic filtering. End node to application controlled, turn off all optimizations and set LOD BS DX to zero by 0 0078 to regressively lower texture resolution. Disable ambient occlusion and under the comment section, switch power management mode to prefer maximum performance and enable threaded optimization. Once you've made all these changes, click apply changes in the top right corner. Launch Valorant and compare your FPS 
you should see a significant boost. With ultra minimal visuals for a smoother, distraction free competitive experience. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping and smoother gameplay in any game. The tool is called Gear Up Booster, and you can download it directly from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC and launch the app. Once it opens, log in with your Google or Facebook account to access all features. On the Home tab, Gear Up automatically detects the games installed on your PC. If you want, you can also explore thousands of other games for optimization in the Games tab. To start boosting, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want, for example, Fortnite. Just hit the Boost button and the tool will instantly begin optimizing your connection. Gear Up will automatically locate the best server for you, but you can also choose a region manually. Always pick the server closest to your location for the lowest ping. In my case, the Middle East server gives the best results. After selecting your region, head to the end tab where you'll see all available servers. You can either choose the nearest one or let gear up. Automatically select the most stable option. I recommend using automatic mode for consistent performance. Finally, close the settings and launch your game directly through Gear Up Booster. That's it. This tool helps you get a more stable connection, lower ping, and even better FPS. Making your gameplay smoother and more enjoyable whether you're playing Fortnite or any other supported game. Step 5. MSI Mode Utility to use MSI Mode Utility for improved gaming performance. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. Start by downloading and launching the MSI Utility tool. No installation is required. Make sure to run it as administrator to allow access to hardware level settings. Once opened, locate your key components, such as your GPU, NVMe SSD, or audio driver in the device list. For each, especially your graphics card, check the MSI box to enable message signaled interrupts, MSI mode, which helps reduce latency and stuttering by improving how your system handles hardware interrupts. Optionally, set the interrupt priority to high for critical devices like the GPU to boost responsiveness. After making your changes, click apply and restart your PC for the settings to take effect. Once rebooted, launch a game like Valorant and compare performance. Many users notice smoother gameplay, reduced input lag and fewer micro stutters particularly on mid-range or older hardware. Step six, disable full screen optimization to disable full screen optimization for Valorant and improve performance. Start by navigating to the game's installation folder. See Riot Games, Valorant, Leave, Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64, and locate the file. Named Valorant-Win64-Shipping.exe Right-click the file and select Properties. Then go to the Compatibility tab. In this section, check the box labeled Disable Full Screen Optimizations to turn off Windows built-in full screen enhancements, which can introduce input lag. For additional stability, you can also check Run this program as an administrator. Once done, click Apply and then OK to save the changes. After applying these settings and launching Valorant, many players notice smoother gameplay, reduced input delay, and more responsive aiming. A useful tweak, especially for competitive players seeking optimal performance. 